G'day. Are wellness tourists attractive guests for hotels to target? G'day. 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 That's another question posed to me by the folks over at Hotel Intel, and here is what I had to say. There's a bit of research going around to suggest that a wellness guest will spend more in a hotel than a non-wellness guest. And the same has been said over the years about spa guests as well. But for my part, whilst I can see that there is a correlation, I'm still yet to see any hard evidence that there is really a causation. Is that guest spending more because they are a wellness guest or a spa guest? Or do they happen to be a guest that stays in the executive suites and happens to go to the spa? So is the fact that they're spending more and going to the spa just a correlation or is it a direct causation? Because they are a spa guest, they will spend more money. Not quite sure that the evidence is there yet. I do think it will come, however, but it's not there yet. And it should be noted that I think a true wellness guest is also going to demand true wellness. So they're not going to be settling for the sort of superficial wellness offerings that we try to throw out in a lot of hotels today. So that's something that I think hotels need to really consider if they're going to go out and target the wellness tourist. Alrighty, that's my thoughts on the matter. Would love to hear yours. Drop me a note and let me know. And I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. Can we all just get along?